Okay, we're going to teach you today two things, how to get depth of field and how to stop motion. We're going to take two shots. The first one's going to be a shot with deep depth of field. To compensate for that, we're going to have to slow the shutter way down, and when we do that, things that are moving are going to blur. In the second shot, we're going to stop motion. We're going to speed up the shutter, but we're going to have to open the aperture up all the way, and things are going to be, uh, the depth of field will be very, very narrow. Now, these are professional posers. Don't try this at home. Okay, this is the first photograph we've made. We did this with a very small aperture of 32. That was done to get deep depth of field. But a small aperture doesn't let in a lot of light. So we had to slow the shutter down to 1.3 seconds. In so doing, we can't stop the motion of things like water. It blurs in the picture. The ladies are all in focus, as are the trees in the background. But anything that moves is going to be blurred in a picture like this. In the second picture, we wanted to use a fast shutter speed to stop the motion of the water. When we do that, we set this at 1 500th of a second. Uh, it lets in a lot less light. To get more light in, we had to use a large aperture. And in using a large aperture, as you know, we get less depth of field. The depth of field on this is very, very shallow. But the motion of the water is frozen in time. This last slide shows a comparison of the depth of field of the two with a graphic illustration of what the aperture looked like in the lens. On the right side, the small aperture gave us fairly sharp depth of field, and the two ladies standing in the background look sharper. That's done at f32. On the left, we had to open the aperture up all the way. You can see the water coming in from the left where it's frozen in time. But the large aperture didn't give us any depth of field and both of those ladies are soft in focus, and as you move all the way to the back, the trees and leaves in the background are completely out of focus. This is expected. When doing this, you have to make a choice sometimes. Do you want to have depth of field, or do you want to stop motion? Thank you.